Hey guys, look at this motherfucking card. Just fucking look at it. What the hell? This shit has two fucking heads. One of them's made out of fire, and this other one's made out of, like, water and or ice or whatever the fuck that is. Look at this. His name is Fossum Flame Dragon, and he's a fucking beast that triggers Mermail Atlantean effects. And his summoning conditions are really easy. He can't be special summoned except by removing play one fire and two waters from your graveyard. And once per turn, you can discard a card to destroy a monster from the field. And this goes hand in hand with Mermail Atlanteans with a nice 2300 attack. You can, you know, set up a lot of plays and break down the deck basically. And I'm gonna run around, run through you with the deck profile. It's a little OCG based, but if you want the TCG version, you can look at the side deck and just, you know, side everything out or make fire dogs, depending on what you want with the deck. Okay, so um, we have our two controllers and the three undines, which is like really good for uh, you know, regular decks. We're regular mermail decks. We have three dragoons because you want to search, three he heavy infantry and three marksmen. We have three marksmen instead of two from the usual deviant because uh, with marksmen you can make black rose and black rose is a fire type. So you want to get black rose off if you if you have a fucking what do you call it this bitch in your hand. And how you make Black Rose with this is you summon it with D.Va and you attack and you just get uh, this guy out and you blow up the field and you make Black Rose. Black Rose is a fire in your graveyard and you can play next turn. They might be like, what the hell? But, you know, if you get the plus on them, you get the plus on them. And, you know, Atlanteans are just a good deck in general. So Deep Sea D.Va is our tuner and, you know, she puts in work. We have our two Fire King High Avatar Grunix. You can summon him from your deck with this card, and he pops the field and destroys all the monsters, which is, you know, fucking amazing. He's a fire, too, so he supports the whole backbone of it. Uh, three Fossum Flame Dragon, because this guy's the fucking nuts. Look at his 2,000 defense, dude. This guy has 2,000 defense. Who has 2,000 defense? We have three Undines. Three Guayavas, because uh, I needed another fire in the deck. Besides the Laval engine, I decided to side it out and go this instead, and it's been working really amazingly so far. Um, I put one Lagia and one Doka in the side deck for him because you know you're not, you're only gonna make one per duel if that. And Atlanteans, they have a really bad end game. They just lose really hard sometimes if you get past all the waves, and this just revitalizes you. Three Abyssalin because you know we're running our Trenchrolls and your Abyss Spheres. Two Megalo and Abyss Spike and or Abyss Surge. I usually run two Abyss Spike. And you know, you don't have to run this card, but it's cool. I don't mind it. Uh, Mulan Glacia because you have graveyard control. That's something Atlanteans don't really have. They can drop five waters in their grave, but once it's over five, it's over five and you can't do anything. With, with Frost and Flame Dragon, you can even run two of these and you'll, you'll get it off. Cause anytime, even in late game, you'll get it off as long as you keep summoning your Frost and Flame Dragons and remove and play your fires in the graveyard. We have two Forbidden Lance because Forbidden Lance is an amazing card with Brava and Frost and Flame Dragons are not really high in attack. And you know, the deck has problems getting over monsters sometimes if you can't pop them. Heavy Storm, Monster Reborn. Three of Onslaught of Fire Kings to summon this guy as soon as possible. You only have two because this is a really de bad dead draw. We have Abyss Spheres, two Abyss Spheres, you know, because this Megalo is kind of self explanatory. Two Trenchels. And with the Laval Lev engine, we have all these guys. So you can make your, uh, what do you call it? Oh, dang, I don't have Lakeside Lady. So you can make your Lakeside Lady pure. You know, and just work a lot for you. You can run Flamebow Fire Dog if you like it. Flamebow Fire Dog plus Lakeside Lady equals Black Rose and three fires in your graveyard. There's another thing to consider. We have Catastrophe, Ancient Fairy Dragons, an amazing card. It lets you pop field spells, and you know, you can search for a field spell, but you don't have any. Uh, Army Arm, just because the Diva. Black Rose, uh, Scrap Dragon, Stardust, DG, Hyper Librarian. Because, you know, you need one of every rank. Probably, I probably don't need Hyper Librarian as much, but I like to have it just in case I'm doing a Synchro Heavy deck and I can just make this guy and be safe on him. Dagusto Phoenix, Gachi Gachi, Lagia, Doka, Levier, Big Eye, uh, Leviathan, because he triggers water effects and Zen mains. 
Um, the decks, the extracts really tight in space, but if you see anything you can take out, you can take it out. There's just a lot of preference choices at this point, but everything else is really fine. This deck is working phenomenally. It's it's actually pretty competitive, I think. Um, for the side deck, as far as it goes, you know, standard things that uh, what do you call it? That you get you side in Mermails. There's no MSTs in the main. You could probably cut these for MSTs if you want to. But other than that, the deck's really cool. And Frost and Flame Dragon's up in this bitch. Thanks, guys. And subscribe. That's a really important thing. Subscribe. I really need subscribers at this point. Um, I'm getting a lot more views than I'm getting subscribers. So I just really want to keep up with the fan base. And thanks, guys. Uh, comment below with what you think of Frost and Flame Dragon. And yeah, that's it. GA Team Vlogs out.